What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, Sun Seeds? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a collective general energy reading. It doesn't matter what your sign is, Sun Seeds, for this message to resonate. Sun Seeds, please make sure you're using discernment, take what resonate, and leave the rest behind. Also, be mindful this to be past, present, or future. Okay? If something does not fit, please don't try to make it fit. Okay, Sun Seeds? Um, yeah, I did a lot of blocking today, okay? <laughs> so somebody could be feeling like, um, be feeling some type of way because you blocked them. I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Just be mindful. I am just a messenger, okay? I don't control the energy. I just read the energy. Energy is constantly, constantly changing, okay? All my readings are timeless. But anyway... What's up, Sunseed? What's up? What's up? Hope you guys had a marvelous Sunday. Hope you guys relaxed. If you could have. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, Divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels. Archangel Michael, please come through and protect me while I channel the energies for my collective Sunseeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close and shut that door. Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, what is the current energy at this time? Give me the overall energy, Holy Spirit. No, somebody I really can feel like feeling some type of way because you blocked them some see. They could be any feelings about that. What's this? Expect a powerful change, new moon and eclipse. So you um there's um there's definitely a powerful shift here, okay? Um things are being <laughs> eclipsed. You know, what no longer serves has to go, you know. Holy Spirit. So Spirit is saying expect a powerful change. You guys could be definitely using your intuition at this time. Okay. It's time to release negativity. A new start is coming. I can't make it up. So what it is, yeah, have faith in your dreams under the bottom. What it is that um, needs to be released, you guys could have definitely released this already. Somebody feeling like they blocked. Okay. But there's a powerful change here, okay. We have, um, it's time to release negativity for Moon and Scorpio. And a new start is coming, new moon. So you could have went through some um, powerful changes in this new moon that just passed in Pisces. Okay. Yeah. Higher self activation. Yeah. Definitely could be using your intuition at this time. Somebody else. Yeah. You could have did some shadow work. Yeah, we have the highest self, ego, and rebirth in the winter. Yeah. Mm. Somebody could be projecting. We have twin flames, Venus. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra. Okay. Mm. Or this could be your person. Yeah, cycles, changes, completion, celebration, gifts, abundance. The sun card, fulfillment. Yeah. So I'm hearing out with the old and with the new. Somebody is definitely um experiencing some type of changes. Okay. Or this could be a person, you know. Going through this awakening at this time. Holy Spirit, give me some messages from my collective sun seeds. Thank you, Holy Spirit. First card out we have is deception and temptation. So somebody could have been weak in the spirit. This could have been in the past. Take it how it resonates. Okay. Um, with this deception and temptation, somebody could have definitely been weak in it. Um, could have been weak in the spirit, you know, vibrating low. Um, somebody felt the need that it was some shadow work that needed to be done. I feel like whoever I'm picking up on, this person definitely um, released that negativity, released that side of them. And now, ooh, excuse me, somebody is, that was confirmation. Somebody can expect a powerful change. 
Okay. Give me more Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Yeah, somebody had to do some type of shadow work. Okay, in order to get this new start. Okay, so we have um, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be a person. Somebody is grounding themselves at this time. Yeah, seeds in spring. Something that's significant about the springtime and the wintertime, okay? What is this? We have Pluto in transformation, Scorpio energy. Um, it came up in reverse, so I'm going to take it like that. Somebody could have been um, avoiding this change. But I feel like um, I'm getting a judgment card in my third eye. Okay. Um, somebody could have been trying to avoid this change for a while, but the universe is forcing this person to change, to release this negativity, to have this new beginning. Okay. There's a there's whatever this um powerful change is gonna be, it's gonna force this person to put them in, you know, to go into the higher self. This person could have been avoiding this for, for a while. You know, something is definitely significant about the springtime. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah. They had to let go of control tactics, okay? Somebody was trying to, yeah, surrender to the divine. I can't make it up. Somebody, control tactics and surrender to the divine, okay? Um, Scorpio, Scorpio and Taurus. Scorpio and Taurus is, um, yeah, time for healing. And it's time to take action, okay? Show the real, the world, the real you. Emotions are running high. Um... Yeah, what I was going to say was Scorpio and Taurus is our fixed signs, okay? That's why we have the Pluto and transformation in reverse. Um, this is somebody that's not used to change, doesn't really, you know, doesn't really, um, change is not comfortable with this person. If this person can have things the way it is, keep it the way it is, they would. But I'm getting the judgment in my third eye. Somebody was being forced by the most high, by the divine, so, you know, surrender, Surrender. Things not working out. With with this release negativity, things are not working out. You've been trying to do it your way for a long time. It hasn't, it hasn't been working. Okay? So, now the divine is like, surrender. Let me take it from here. You know, just do the shadow work. Because with deception and temptation, um, somebody was real, it was, it was in a very lustful energy. Okay? But this person is changing. Okay? Yeah, they were trying to control, they were trying to control all of this, but, um, the universe had to let, you know, let them know, like, my man, sis, bro, sis, whoever, I'm in control. I control this. Now, you either, you either, you either want to do it, you don't want to either do it my way, or we could do it the hard way. Yeah, lack, doubt. Okay? Something about this person mentality, they beliefs. Thank you, spirit. Something is changing. This person is getting grounded. This um, Whoever this person you're in separation for is definitely longing for you. Okay? They definitely had, um, they had a lot of regret. We have toxicity and apology. Okay? So, <laughs> whatever toxic traits this person, whatever toxic patterns this person had about them, this person apologizes. Okay? This person sees you as a blessing. This person knows that they try to control this connection and they land them nowhere. You could have definitely walked away. For some of you guys, you could have been married to this person. Or this is how this person sees you, wants to marry you. Because this woman has a wedding dress on. Yeah, we have um, firm and structure and solid foundation. Yes, somebody, um, somebody want to build a solid foundation with you. I'm getting you worth the waiting for. Yeah, autumn and harvest. Okay. So somebody is taking, somebody is about to take action, okay? Somebody is about to take action. They want equal give and take, yeah. Whoever well, this person, we got higher self inspiring. Mm. 
higher self inspired. Your person can be very spiritual. Your person can also have spiritual gifts, whether you are aware or unaware. Mm -hmm. This person spies on you. Yeah, they do, Sussies. Empathy and breakthrough. I'm kidding. This person didn't allow themselves to feel anything before. And now, now that this person is going through this transformation, we got the guilt and sabotage. Just how they feel. Yeah, somebody, somebody, somebody is now able to feel. Okay, this is somebody that this is somebody that um, avoided feeling things. Okay, maybe this person got their heart broken before, and they and they could have got they put could have put themselves in the energy of like nobody nobody gonna break my heart again. You know. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fall in love or I'm not going to feel no emotions. And that's not, that's not okay. That's not good. You know, you're supposed to acknowledge those feelings and those emotions when they show up. You just got to make sure you just don't stay there. You know, don't stay in that energy. But if you don't acknowledge those emotions that you're feeling at that time, they're going to creep up on you again and again and again. And you're going to just build up and build up and build up. Whoever this person you share chemistry with, yeah, rejection, loss, fragmented, yeah. I'm hearing it been too it been too much space between you guys. Mm. This person feels rejected by you. Whoever this person you share a lot of chemistry and passion with, but I feel like if things are going to change. You, you guys are going to get a new start. It's just some some work that needs to be done. That's all. You know, yeah, 4K and beliefs. Somebody beliefs is changing. This could have been somebody who liked to run the streets a lot. Now they don't want to run the streets anymore. Yeah, growth in summer. Yeah, receive and open. Spirit is saying you guys could um, you guys need to be in the energy of receiving and being open. To love, because we seen the Venus card earlier. Yeah, somebody is going. Yeah, North Note. I can't make it up. Some these North Note and masculine. I knew, I knew it was your masculine that was breaking on themselves. They tried to avoid this, but no. Mm -mm. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Somebody is actually doing the work to go towards their North Note. Yeah, we have um, reflection and projection, um, detachment and cold. Whew. Whoever this person that you're in separation with, you could be um, feeling a lot of the energy. Or they could be sending the energy to you, Sunsi. But um, they could be rejecting on you. Um, you could feel like you you find one minute and then the next minute you might, you know, might be feeling sad sleepy, um, emotional. It's because whoever your person is that's gone through this transformation, um, you're feeling everything that your person is going through right now. This connection is very much, very much intense. Yeah. Comfort zone, soft note, and clingy. Yes. This person had to leave their soft note. I'm here and don't let the past hold you back. Yeah. Memories and twin flame. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Divine feminine energy. I'm telling you, divine feminine. Okay. Whoever your person is, um, you definitely could be feeling this person's emotions at this time. Okay. This person wants a solid foundation with you. And this separation, I'm hearing, you know, with the separation and longing, I'm hearing been too much space. Okay. We have air sign, Gemini, Libra, um, Aquarius. And again, we have Venus. There's a love offer that's coming in. Spirit wants you to be open and receiving when this person comes in. Um, third eye clarity. Okay. Somebody definitely, a, third eye is wide awake. And now this person is actually feeling everything that they have done to you, Sunseeds. And it could be making this person real emotional. This person could be crying a lot, real sad. 
And I'm telling you, we have um, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You can definitely be feeling it. This person had to release, um, what is it's time to release negativity for Moon and Scorpio. This person had to release, um, you know, release their south node. Because they, in their south node, it was a lot of deception and, um, oh, excuse me, confirmation. Deception and temptation. This person was easily, um, will easily give in to temptation. That wasn't healthy. Give me more Holy Spirit. Yeah, I can't make it up. Reunion, soul ties. Mm. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, under the bottom, celebration and gift in abundance. I'm telling you, the divine is working everything out. Yes. Mm. Nurture, compassion. This person misses you. This could be somebody that um this person um your person could have been someone who kissed you on your forehead a lot. Yeah, look at this north note again. With receive and open. Oh, yeah. It's time for union. Reunion, soul time, celebration, gifts, abundance, nurture, compassion. This is how this person see you. Very nurturing, very compassionate, very loving. Yeah. I'm hearing, call me crazy, but I think I found the love of my life. Now somebody can actually feel the emotions, feel the things that they had put you through. And they don't like it. Because this is not somebody that's used to being in their feelings and their emotions. Mm. What is it? Yeah. It was, it's time for healing. Spirit, what's this new start that's coming? Jesus, thank you. Yeah, they had to release, surrender, and purge. And this is what they do. And I'm telling you, this person, you see, look, look at this. This person could be crying a lot. And every time they cry, you could be feeling it, getting very emotional. Okay? This person is purging right now. You remember when you first went on, it was just 1717. You remember when you first went through your awakening sun seeds? And how difficult it was, how you was alone? And even though you you know you wanted this energy with you so bad, you know, you know, just to be there with you, you was afraid, you was in an unknown territory. Uh, for a lot of you guys, you're still in an unknown territory, but it doesn't, um, you're not afraid anymore. It became your new home. But remember in the beginning, when you had to move in to this unknown territory and you had no one there? No one to walk you through it. The one you can call and talk to. Remember? This is exactly how this person feels at this time. And they had a lot of guilt. And they feel they 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 gone through the emotions and they see how they sabotage this connection in the past. This could be this person with this rain. This could be someone who cries a lot in the shower. In the bathroom. Mm. Yeah. Fade. Something was faded. Detours. Divine intervention. I can't make it up. Divine, like, listen. We can make this, you know, we can make this, you know, easy or we can make it difficult. It's up to you. Okay? Your angels always come through and give you warnings before the tower. Okay, and we have water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, if that is not their sign, um, that could be your sign. Yeah, avoid this, um, stillmate. Mercury mess, yeah. Whatever was that, um, a stillmate before is, is, that's over with. You about to start receiving messages from this person. Okay. I'm here, and this person got a lot to tell you. This person misses how much you used to make them laugh. Yeah, I'm telling you. The temperance with the six of pentacles. This person had to do the work. And now the divine is it's going to be equal give and take. You know, now the divine is like, you know what? Now we could pour into you. Now things could come in. Okay? I just see, what's that? Yeah, two of cups. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or you could be a Sagittarius. 
But somebody wants to come in and pour into this connection. I just see the death card with the um, devil. Somebody had to close out a karmic cycle. Somebody could also be a Scorpio or Capricorn. But they had to release, you know, what, you know, that south um, note. Holy Spirit, give me some message, more messages for this energy, please. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Six of Wands, success, victory, accolades, rewards. After going through, you know, this dark night of the soul. I can't make it up to the pinnacles under the bottom. Yes. Four of Pinnacles. This person wants to hold on to you. Four of Wands. They want this connection with you. They see you as they two of cups. They want to work on things with you. And this union is definitely very much protected. Okay, with the seven of wands. Nine of cups. Wish fulfillment. Three of swords with the temperance. Whatever this person is going through right now with this divine intervention, it's, it hurt, it's hurting this person. Because this person is realizing everything that they put you through. For a lot of you guys, how they abandoned you when you went on your path, when you needed them. And now they're experiencing it. And they don't like how it makes them feel. But it also makes them, I'm getting a hermit card. Make them go within and see like, damn, I really put that person through all of that? Now, this is somebody that, that, that didn't like to deal with emotions before. They ran from them. But now they're being forced to feel it. Acknowledge it. So it can, you know, so you can put it to the side. And go, and you know, go along with your life. Not have it build up and build up and build up. There's no, there, there's nothing in life that should make you be walking around all day angry, mad, hurting people all the time. Like I told you guys before, hurt people, hurt people. Heal people, heal people. Okay? The fool card with the um with the higher friend. They want to take a risk. <coughs> Excuse me. They want to take a risk. They want to take a leap of faith. They want a new beginning. And there is going to be a commitment. For some of you guys with the higher friend and the four ones, it will be of a marriage. Okay? Two of Wands. Yeah, this person planning something. Yeah. This person going through a dark night of the soul and they feel like everything that they put you through. Ten of Wands with the Ten of Swords. Whatever karmic cycles that they closing out, it's hard for this person. Because they knew you were understood. For a lot of them, they, they knew how much, you know, they put on you that you didn't even deserve. How much they betrayed you 10 different times for some of you guys. Hurt you. Burdened you. We have the Ace of Cups with the Six of Cups. Whoever this person is. Um, you might, you know, you're going to recognize them. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me get some water so I see. So like somebody they don't want my mm, hitting my throat shock. Like they don't want me to speak. Whoever this person is um, from your past. You know, for some of you guys, all of this already happened in the past. For some of you guys, this is currently the energy of what you're going through right now. I mean your person going through. Six of cups and ace of cups. You might recognize this person on the um well. Spirit is saying, even for the physical, some of them might not even look the same. But you might recognize, you're going to recognize this person you share a lot of chemistry with. But when they show up with this Ace of Cups, you're going to be like, and I didn't even know you knew how to love like that. I didn't even know you knew how to express feelings like that. I didn't know you can be so affectionate, so caring, so loving. For some of you guys, this person might show up in the Empress Energy. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> because I'm getting it. I'm getting I'm, this person is very emotional at this time. You know? But they 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 want they want to kill you. They want to they want to kiss on you. They want to nurture you. They want to be, yeah, I see what is that? Yeah. Nurture and compassion. 
Yeah, nurture and compassion. And if you look at this man, look like he kissing, kissing a woman's forehead. Like this is the energy this person coming back. You gonna be shocked with the towel. You gonna be like, what? Oh, yeah, you came back here with the four of swords? Yeah, because it was time for healing. Okay? With the um, temperance in the tower, with the, um, again, it says it's faded. Detour, divine intervention. The divine intervention is at play in this person's life. You know? Yeah. Three of Wands, planning on it. This person is in hermit right now, focusing on, you know, what they want in the long run, their future. You know, and going within. Yeah, I told you there's a shift. And Spirit is saying, expect a powerful change. This person is coming in quick. Yep. Yeah, this person knows why you walked away. For others of you guys, this person, um, they feel real guilty. For walking away from you, being in that lustful energy, being a player, being sneaky, thinking what was only was in their pants, eight of cups, you know, doing the most, eight of wands. This that Mercury card I seen. Yeah, I mean Mercury messages travel and communication. Be expecting communication from this person. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of apologies. Mm -hmm. Well, so I see is I want to come on here and give you guys a quick reading. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Three of Wands. Look at this. Look at this, Sunseeds. Three of Wands, the Emperor. Page of Swords <laughs> with the Empress. I can't make it up. With the Death card. There's nothing but rebirth. It's time for Union, baby. Be expecting good news. Page of Wands. Queen of Cups. Yeah, somebody in love. And they want to come back and nurture this connection. I'm hearing you deserve it. Because you always showed up like that. Look at this. And it was back to back. The Real Wands with the Emperor, the Page of Swords, and the Empress. And we seen earlier, um, Higher Self and Spying. Your person is, mm -mm. your person's got some spiritual gifts too, baby. Okay? They could have hidden from you whether you knew about it or not. But I know for a fact this person is spying. And if they watching this video right now, they probably like, oh, Mystic, shut up. No, I'm not. You watching them. You watching. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't be spying. But they are. They are three of wands, emperor, page of swords with the empress. Okay? Yeah, they coming back, Sunseeds. All right? I love you guys so very much, Sunseeds. And to week it up. Next time, I'm sending you guys a big bowl of love and light. Later, Sunseeds.